Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where apparently we're looking at the uh <laughs> we're looking at the northwestern corner of the map here. Uh, okay. Uh, th thanks Crusader Kings. Uh what are we actually doing here? What we're actually doing here is we're working on rivers. So we need to grab additional river territory. There's a little bit from Bavaria we should be truced. Yes. There's a little bit from Moldavia we should be truced. Yes. There's this nation here. And this one's going to be a little bit awkward to get. We're hoping that we get a kingdom invasion CB on them eventually. Like next life, I think, is when we would get that. If we don't get it, we might not be able to get all of this before the end of the game. I don't know. It's going to be dicey. As far as Africa goes, we have most of it. We do need one additional war against Ghana, which we're actually no longer truce to. That surprises me. It feels like we should be truce to this guy, but okay, sure. We'll come back to that. We've also got this guy, who we are truce to. We must have had the event pop up that ended the truce early, is all I can imagine. Okay, so this claim is a good claim, but it's also not one that we're going to do. Just checking in on those counties. Nope. We want this county, and only this county. So we will go ahead and declare that. Let's go ahead and drop our rally point here. We'll need men at arms. We will need, he has like 20,000 troops. Okay, we'll need a few levy troops. All looking good. A new claimant, huh? Cool. So we'll raise up like 30,000 here. Should be fine. There we go, that'll do. And we're just going to head on in here and grab the war goal. Sure, show in the kit. That'll be fine. Okay, so. We had just taken over this area over here. If I recall correctly. Or, no, we were going to take over this area, but we hadn't yet. That's right. Because if we take this, that allows us to get a correct type of claim on ba the Duchy of Baghdad, which we can mostly hold. There's a couple counties over here that we'll have to grant out, but this will get us all of the Tigris. So that was the plan at the end of last episode before I discovered this Ghana situation. So we'll get this taken care of and get that truce ticking. Actually, we don't care about that truce. Can we come in and fight them here? I do want to group these together, stop moving, and split off our siege force, because our siege force doesn't need to take this detour to fight. The siege force can come up over here with a siege commander, while our main army detours. Cool. So we're going to catch something here. But what? Half of their force. Cool. So they stack wipe, and the other half is locked into us. And they'll stack wipe as well. That's 75% war score already. We're going to, going to head into their capital here. And begin a slow siege. While our siege force sieges Walata here. And then it'll head into their capital. And that should end the war. So technically I don't believe there are further orders that are needed to end this war. But we can end it more quickly. By moving these guys into the capital of course. Okay. And in we go. These guys are going to get nothing done. So that's fine. So we're going to have the capital sieged in 15 days. And this will definitely end the war. Guaranteed. Okay. So we no longer care about truces with Ghana. Because this river is fully under our control except... For this county, Upper Gurma. And we're truced with this guy for a while yet, so nothing to be done there. So over to the Tigris we go. And we were planning to attack Baghdad here. With a county conquer on Wasit. There we go. Cool. We'll drop our rally point here. Raise our men-at-arms. I don't know. I'm getting some deja vu here. It kind of feels like we already did this, but maybe I only thought about it. I'm thinking, did I did I forget to save, and did we load in an autosave?
1413801. No, we have an autosave exit. So that's not possible. Okay. <laughs> I must have only thought about it. Cool. So we're gonna... We're gonna raise a few levy troops as well. Now he's coming in to attack us here. That's very rude. Very rude indeed. That's gonna delay us. Not like it's the end of the world, but it will delay us. So he stack wipes that, and we will go ahead and drop our rally point down here to be a little safer. And we'll try that one again. What a jerk. Okay, so we're going to need how many troops? Like 40k? Sounds good. He is not going to succeed in stack wiping us again, so that's fine. 30 days until our men at arms arrive, and then we'll go up and attack him and have some revenge, which will be just fine. Cool. So up we go. We are above our domain limit. Seems like that happened before, too. We handed out this temple, though, which is handed out. So, okay, we'll hand out this one. I guess we're just having our stewardship skill decline with age. I guess that's fine. So we're going to fight these guys, of course. And they're not going to do well at all here. So they lose this battle pretty badly. And we're going to go up and get Ticking War Score on our side. Cool. So there we go. And then we're probably going to make our way over to their capital, I think. So looking at the path here, we can go here, 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 capital. That'll be the plan. Unless they do something dumb here, which they've done something dumb here. I'm going to split off our bombards, but I'm going to leave a few more than usual here. I'm going to leave like 20,000 here just to dissuade them from attacking us with some of these forces. While we wait for them to lock in and then head up here and attack them. Cool. So that'll be fine. We'll head on down. We do need a siege commander. There we go. And there's another victory. Fantastic. They're just running off up this way. I think they're going to come around and try to siege here. Is my suspicion on what their goal is. Just try to get that ticking back on their side. So if that's the case, we're going to head over there ourselves. And it does look like that's their goal. Although now they're running. Interesting. Why would they siege here? That's a bit baffling to me. But okay. We'll fight them then. Cool. And we're sieging their capital. This should end the war between the battle and the siege. Yeah, the battle ends it. We didn't have our battles capped, which actually slightly surprises me, but it's okay. So we'll disband our troops and grant, grant out Wasi. There we go. Of course, we're going to need more from them over here. We need these two counties. Those are both within the Kufa Duchy, so that should be okay. We'll go after that one a bit later. But we need to go after this guy next if we want to get the Tigris almost entirely on our side. We need to conquer that duchy. So the question is, are any of those good? The answer is no. Uh, we want the Emirate of Baghdad. And we are almost certainly going to have to grant these out. Yukana will retain it. Yeah, so he'll retain the Emirate. We will have to grant these out, but we will get these three, which are... Well, actually, we'll have to grant these three out. We'll get these two, which are the two we want. That's okay. So we'll go ahead and declare that. How many troops did he have? I should have checked that. 40,000 there, but he might have allies and holy orders. Okay. So we know we're going to need at least, like, 45,000 here. Okay, like 60,000. Sure. Seems reasonably okay. So we'll stop gathering here around there. And then we'll head on up. Our men-at-arms will be slightly behind. 
Where's this guy's capital? Way up here. Okay. It was also weird that it had two pieces of music playing at the same time there. Are, are you okay, Crusader Kings? <laughs> well, we're going to get Ticking War score here, and we do need a new Marshal. So let's put in this queen. Fantastic. And we're above our Vassal limit, but it's only by two. I'm not too concerned. We have a bunch of sieges to do down here, and... Oh, there's their army. Okay, I was going to say, until we see their army... There's no real point in breaking out our siege force, but we see their army, so let's go ahead and head on over. They don't like us. So, you know, this is saying that the chances are even. That we have a better army commander, that they have defensive buildings and more men-at-arms counter. Our quality is higher than theirs. But I'm not sure I like attacking them. Uh, that's drylands, not hills. I thought that'd be hills. Mm. Defender advantage plus 10. Okay. So we've got 23 here. I think the game is somewhat right that the chances are even, but I think that we will have a decent starting advantage, and that'll carry the day. I think this will be fine. Yes. That was a decent starting advantage, and yep, it is going in the correct direction. Okay. So, my mental math there was correct. Like I said... It's, it's a little bit dicey, but it ended up being okay. Cool. I don't know why those game previews where it tells you what it thinks the outcome is going to be are so wildly wrong in a lot of cases, but they definitely are. In that case, I agree that it was kind of like borderline even, but it was close to we will probably win. But in some cases, it's just like you will probably lose, and I'm just like, absolutely not. There's no scenario where we lose this. And it's weird. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to finish sieging down over here. We see them coming in over this way. This is in floodplains. Oh, they're going in to attack us in our siege force. That's awkward. Their timing is good there. And that was because I didn't notice this little barony here that we had to traverse before we went through. I assumed these are part of the same time. That's a miscalculation on my part. Do we survive long enough, though, to get there? Yes, we do, and this will be good. Cool. So we're completely fine in this battle. We probably lost very little out of that. Yeah, very little indeed. So we're going to head on up, and taking this will end the war. Beautiful. So we can group these together. Actually, we have ticking war score. We don't have the war target fully controlled, but okay. Sure, we'll take it. That's the end of the war, and we will enforce our demands. Now, we do not get the emirate here. So that means that we are required to grant out this guy. We have to grant him independence. This guy, we have to grant independence. And this guy, we have to grant independence. Oops. There we go. All of those are required by the rules of the game to be granted independence. And then these will just grant out, like so. But that, of course, means that we don't have access to this duchy. That's fine. Eventually, we'll probably be able to offer these guys vassalage if they don't get conquered. But for the moment, that's what we have to do. So that's the Tigris almost entirely under our control. We need these two counties, but of course we're truced to this guy. So I want to check in on some of our other truces. Let's check in in Africa. Oh, we're not truce to this guy anymore. So we can definitely do a county conquer on Upper Gurma up here. This is the only location in Africa, in the entire continent of Africa, that we're allowed to declare war on. So let's go ahead and do so. And we'll raise up over here. I think just our men-at-arms will be enough, right? Probably. I'm going to raise a few extra because, yeah, he called in a holy order. I'm not shocked about that. We still probably would have won this with just the men-at-arms. But we're going to bring in around 20k levy troops. Cool. 
So we should have no problem with this conquest. And we do need our popular figurehead here. Who died? That's my question. This sound means somebody died? But I opened this exactly as it popped up. Oh, our rival. Cool. Okay, so that's absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever there. We're going to get these sieges done very quickly. I'm not going to split off our forces. I don't think it's necessary. We can see them here. So their army is there. We have ticking on our side now. So the question is, what are they going to do from here? I'm going to walk over this way and get this siege done. And he's just allowing this. He should be moving this army away. The obvious move here is to walk in here. And then from there, come down to Wagadougou. I have no idea why he's thinking this is okay. But he does not get away with that. Cool. So that gives us a decent amount of war score there from the battle. Uh, to be precise, 23. And we're just going to continue to siege our way towards his capital at this point. We may as well put in a siege commander. And actually, our, our top advantage commander is a siege commander. That's a little unusual, but sure, we'll take it. Ten days left on this siege. We're 84% war score. 96. This siege should end the war. If it doesn't end before then. Um, we've already finished off... Actually, we could take bureaucrats here. Cool. That'll be fine. Oh, yeah. You can scroll by moving your mouse to the edge of the screen. <laughs> I always forget about that. Okay, so we've got a chess game going on here. We are best at learning. We win! Cool. Okay. Fantastic. So this will end the war, guaranteed. We'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. And that, of course, means there is nowhere in Africa that we are legally allowed to attack other than de jure locations, I suppose. We can attack de jure locations under the rules of the game, but we're not allowed to do anything else. So if we were to go to, like, Ghana here, right? I, I mean, we're truced. So if we were to go to, like, Guinea here, all we could do is take this de jure territory. We are not allowed to take any of this ourselves. Our vassals can do that. We can't control what our vassals do. But we're not allowed to declare that. Cool. So, of course, we are truced to this guy. Never mind. We are not truced to this guy anymore. Huh. So, obviously, we want to take over the entire Tigris here. So we no longer have to worry about the Middle East at all. Okay. I'm surprised that our truce broke with him. Again, it must have been an event that I clicked through and didn't notice. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and declare for this. Once again, we're going to have to grant out some independence. But that's fine. He has like 10,000 troops. Okay. So we don't need all that many. This will be enough. And we'll head in and not begin a slow siege yet. Just looking at where he is compared to where these castles are. If they were on this side, I would have done it. But we're going to wait. Come on, men at arms. There we go. Okay, we'll group this together and we'll split off our siege force. I'm giving them this commander. And then this guy will head on up. We may stack wipe this. We'll see. Let's see what happens here. If it stack wipes, we'll slow siege here. Oh, war's over. Cool. Ah, this count has both of these locations. Or all of these locations, rather. Now, the duchy title is uncreated. But we are required to do this first. So we need to grant out this. We have to grant this independence. Now we can see if we can create the duchy title. We cannot. Okay. We can't grant this county independence, though, because 
he holds all of these. So that'll have to do. We could try to uh, release him if he'll convert. He will not convert. Fair enough. He can rot in prison then. Cool. Okay. So at this point, what do we need to do? Well, we need to check on Bavaria and Moldavia. Because there are still navigable rivers in Europe that we do not fully control. So, Bavaria. What, what can we do here? We see that they have one county here. Two counties here. Let's actually check in on the duchies here. Okay, I mean... It would be potentially awkward. We can look into those options. So if we were to go for a de jure duchy, what, what de jure duchies do we have? Not much. Okay. So if we were to do a conquer duchy, actually, let's, like, let's take a look at our claims first before we start looking at that. I mean, sure. Awkwardness? Yeah, that's a lot of awkwardness. Okay. So, looking at our duchies, if we were to take... Let's see here. This one. If we were to take this duchy, the duchy will not be created by this war. So, this duchy is uncreated. If we were to go for this one, this duchy is also uncreated. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Awkwardness. So what about down over here, then? We might be able to get something here. So, let's see what we've got. There are a lot of duchies here, for sure. But I want to see... Which one might be riverbound? This one is. Technically, we cannot hold this, ca this county here. Duke Fulmar would become our vassal. So we'd be able to hold everything here. This might give us a CB against these guys as well. Which would be nice. What would that great holy war for kingdom get us? Not really what we're going for there. Okay. Just checking. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, these would be good moves under most circumstances in most games. In this game, they're kind of not. So I think we're going to go for a Conquer Duchy in the end here on Bax. It's the best way to go. It's not great, but it's what we've got with our limitations. So we'll raise up our troops there. But it is about time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we will continue to carve up Bavaria. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, JG Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Atala, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.